Before I hand to God's progress, ask God to move me out the way. So his will may be done. If I do all these things, I will have the peace and the joy God intended me to have. Amen. Our scripture today will come from the New Testament. The Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 23. Begin with verse 23. Amen. Matthew chapter 23. Begin with verse 23. Amen. Amen. 23 says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of men and anise and common, and have omitted the weight of matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These are ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guys, restrain at a gnat, and swallow a camel. Yeah. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup, or the platter, but within they are full of Extension and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and the plate, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe once again unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto quite as Sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men bones and all unclean. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of bikers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? May God bless you. I use my subject for just a little while. Snakes and vipers. Snakes and vipers. All snakes don't crawl the belly. Some walk upright. Some will walk into church yeah. and talk about you and walk over to you and sit beside you. Y'all yeah. want to pray for me? Yeah. In this passage today, Jesus is talking to the masses. Verses 1 through 3, Jesus said to the crowd, that's us, mm -hmm. and to the disciples, yes. that teachers of the law Sit in Moses' seat. So be careful to do everything they tell you. Mm -hmm. But Good. do not do what they do. Mm -hmm. For they do not practice what they preach. Yeah. Yeah. If understood correctly, This passage makes you aware of where you stand with God. Mm -hmm. Family and friends, brothers and sisters, today is a good time to reflect on who you are yes. and what you stand for in the sight of God. This subject is about denying 
who God is in your life. I said deny. A lot of us deny who God is so we can do what we want to do and make us feel better by ourselves. It's about giving your time and energy to the enemy. Do you know what the enemy is? Satan? That's not all. Some of your so-called friends, some relatives, mama says some kinfo. But when things go wrong, that's when we will sincerely turn our attention back to God. Talking about God, you know my heart. Well, that's your problem. God knows your heart. Oh, when all is well, our memory of loving God disappears. When all is well, we give our time and our energy to our own selfish needs. Somebody say amen. amen. When all is well, we turn our back, roll over, and go back to sleep on Sunday morning. Somebody speak right now. Barbecue pizza just smoking. At the car wash. On the golf course. At Brookshire's or Walmart. Don't have to pray for me. But the word hypocrite means a stage actor, a pretender, a fake person. An imposter. Yeah. They pretend last Sunday mm -hmm. that they were a child of God. Oh, yeah. And this Sunday. Uh -huh. Where are they? I can't tell you. Don't ask me that. Because a hypocrite is a person who pretends to be a certain way, but really acts or believes just the opposite. Yes. Right, I'm talking about hypocrite now. Hypocrites boast about what they believe. Mm -hmm. Yet they follow their own rules mm -hmm. instead of following the word of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are an impersonator. Uh -huh. An imposter. You're not real. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you can sing like David. All right. You can shout like young. Y'all ain't praying for me. But Mama said, "You're just a snake uh -uh. in the grass." Oh, yes, no. yes. Some folks have snakes for pets. Mm -hmm. yes. You hear what I said? Yes. Some folks have snakes for pets. Yes, sir. But having a snake for a pet, mm -hmm. Sister Alicia, is just like having Satan for a friend. He was still biting you because the snake is a snake. I don't care if he's in your house. I don't care if he's in the church house. Wherever he is, he's still a snake. Shallow I in Facebook community, I try to teach you to imitate Jesus. And not impersonate Jesus. Just love like him. Strive to be like him. So the Elvis. There are a lot of Elvis. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me? What are they? Impersonators. There's a lot of Michael Jackson impersonators. We'll make a moonwalk on y'all. <laughs> impersonators. Uh -huh. There's a lot of Jesus impersonators. impersonators. Yeah. Well, stop by to tell you this morning there will never be another Elvis. Uh -huh. There'll never be another Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. But there's only one. Yeah. All right, come on now. There's only one Jesus. 
the one that died on Calvary's cross. Somebody should have shot at me. Matthew 23, 23 simply says, Woe to you, teachers of law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. The Pharisees separated themselves to study and teach the law. Then they also separated themselves because they considered these people to be spiritually unclean. Stop sitting by folk trying to decide if you're better than they are. I'm waving my hands and she ain't doing nothing. But you don't know what's in our heart. Deep down in the heart, you may be crying about a wayward child. Y'all ain't talk to me today, but we'll pray anyway. However, this passage is not just for teachers of the law. It's for everyone who is following the living God. God's law is not different from, for me and then different for you. It's the same for us all. It's the same word today. It was yesterday, and it will be tomorrow and ever more. Y'all still ain't praying for me when I'm talking. And it's good news for everybody. The scripture said you give a tenth. Somebody don't like this. Of your spices and mints and deal and cumin. This don't mean that the day you give a tenth of your kitchen spices mm -hmm. to God, oh. it's a new day. Because right. back then, these spices were very valuable. Right. But only the wealthy could afford these spices. Mm -hmm. But now, now, now I'm talking to y'all. Come on now, tell us about it. God wants a tenth of your earnings. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Because your earnings are so valuable to you. Give God what's right and not what's left. I said give God what's right and stop giving God what's left. In other words, don't suck up the cool air in the church. Oh, I see you fanning. It's a little warm today. But don't suck up the air that somebody else paid for. Come on now. Come on now. You want to beat me up? Right. I came to fight. Right. Somebody ain't praying for me now. Baby, right. you may be living in darkness, uh -huh. but you're not sitting in darkness. Okay. Am I talking? Right. Because a light's on uh -huh. that somebody else paid for. You sit in up with a pocket full of money, mm -hmm. still giving God that same old dollar. Same old dollar. Wearing God's clothes. Mm -hmm. Driving God's car. Mm -hmm. Eating God's food. Mm -hmm. You hypocrite! Y'all right. ain't even talking to me today, but I feel like preaching now. You enjoy a fresh, clean sanctuary. Uh -huh. Every Sunday. Sanctuary that you are not willing to clean yourself. Come on, Pastor. Come on. But yet you enjoy it. Yes. Well, somebody needs to be paid. All right. I ain't fussing it just the way I preach. All right. While you have this luxury, uh -huh. watch this. Cleaning supplies are not free. Now watch this. If you think so, then go to Walmart and try walking out without paying. You be walking. You be walking with your hand behind your back on the way to the police car. Well, I'm going to bring these handcuffs up in here. I'm going to cuss the folk. And walk them to their car. <laughs> huh? Because I'd rather you be outside in your car than be in here denying Jesus. Oh, they 
worker should be paid for their works. Yes. Yeah. You want to get paid, right? Yes. School teachers, that's around and your check don't get the, <laughs> don't get the bank. <laughs> bank on the twenty third, whatever day your school is. Yes. You call an HR. Am I wearing my check? Uh-huh. Well, Shiloh is calling you. Uh-huh. Well, where am I? Uh-huh. Where is my time? Uh-huh. See, God is not happy. It's not all about money. Yeah. He don't need your money. Right. Because he has a cattle of a thousand heels. Yeah. But he's simply saying it's the act of obedience. Yes, it is. He just checked you out. Right. See if you do what he asked you. This passage goes on to say, but you have neglected the more important matters uh-huh. of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Uh-huh. Church, are you just? Uh-huh. Do you give mercy? Uh-huh. Are you faithful? Uh-huh. Everybody ain't saying mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Do you just talk about justice? Do you just talk about mercy? Or do you just talk about faith? The Bible said you should have practice. He laughed. We're not neglecting the form. Somebody talk to me. Church, you should practice justice. You should practice mercy. You should practice faith. In other words, give justice to everyone. Yes. Want mercy, just like you want justice. Yes. Give mercy yes. to everyone. Yes. yes. That means you gotta forgive some folk. Yes, sir. Have faith in God. Yes. Have faith in Christ and what He did on the cross. Yes. No, Lord, when you neglect God's law, you have actually given yourself over to the enemy. Mm. I say when you neglect God's law. You're willfully giving yourself over to the enemy. Verse 24 simply says, You blind guys. You strain out a gnat. Go swallow a camel. Now, this verse is kind of radical, Mr. Franklin. But God is showing you how important your decisions are. Brother Zell. The gnat mm-hmm. and the camel was considered unclean. Mm-hmm. They are the smallest and the largest right creature in Israel. Mm-hmm. Now watch this. They would strain their wine mm-hmm. with dogs mm-hmm. to get out the gnat. Lord have mercy. But the scripture said, but you will swallow. A camel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In other words, there's no little sin. Right. And there's no big sin. Right. In God's eyes, they all sin. Right. You keep straining, yeah. worry about, <laughs> worry about a gnat. You mess around and swallow something so big. Right. So y'all ain't talking. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about sin. All right. Now, what are your folks? See, anything that you really think something about, you focus on it. Yes. If it's drug and you're thinking about them, or y'all ain't gonna pray for me uh-huh. all the time. Uh-huh. If it's adultery, you're thinking about them all the time. Uh-huh. Whatever your sin may be, uh-huh. what are you focused on? Yes. Minute by minute, you should judge yourself. Yes. Now, I didn't say allow Maxi. To judge you, I said, judge yourself. Amen. If you judge yourself, then if you would judge yourself according to the law, then God will need to judge you. Now that's true. Mm-hmm. Verse 25 said, Whoa, Whoa. once again, to you, teacher of the law and Pharisee, mm-hmm. you hypocrite. Uh-huh. Woe simply means grief, sadness, affliction, and distress. 
Therefore, you're setting yourself up for trials and troubles. Church, you better get on board. You clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but on the inside, they're full of greed and self indulgence. Blind Pharisees. First, clean the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside also will be clean. Church, if you clean your inside, Come on now. Mm -hmm. you'll be all right on the outside. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Lord, don't just look clean, be look clean. clean. Yes. Yes. Matter of fact, don't be missed up. Clean. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Don't walk around being dirty. Mm -hmm. Treat folk bad all week. You come up in the church, dusting yourself off, acting all clean up in here. Twenty-seven says, "Walk in." Walk till you teach you of the law of Pharisees and you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but are full of dead. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Dead stuff. All right. On the inside. Yes. We're just like some of us. Yeah. We look sparkling, spotless clean mm -hmm. on the outside. Yeah. But we're rising on the inside. to the cold. Y'all ain't praying for me. Right. To the cold on the inside. Yeah. You just like a beautiful red apple. Yeah. You mess around and what you say? Uh, and you bite into it. Uh, Next thing you know, you got a worm in your mouth. Right. Woe to you people of this nation, mm -hmm. this earth. You're like whitewashed tombs. Mm -hmm. We look beautiful on the outside. Uh -huh. But we're inside full of dead bones mm -hmm. and everything unclean. Yeah. The point is, you attempt to polish up the exterior. But leave the interior full of death yes. and full of sin. Yeah. Because you have not been changed by the washing of the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Some writer said, I know mm -hmm. I've been changed. Yes. Why? Because the help and sign my name. Mm -hmm. Church, you can't play with God because God don't play. That's right. He knows you well. You better get to know him. Yeah. James Carey sing a song. Do you know him? Uh -huh. He knows when you are pushing your bird up under the rug. Y'all ain't gonna pray for me. Uh -huh. Why are you point at somebody else's little sand? Uh -huh. Upon a death feet. Uh -huh. God knows when you're pushing your dirt uh -huh. up under the rug. Yeah. Why you point at somebody else's little sand? We need that feet. Yeah. Sweep around your own Come on Come on. front door yeah. before you try to sweep around mine. Yeah. When you leave the front door, uh -huh. go through your dirty house yeah. and sweep the back door. Come on now. Yeah. Clean it up. Because there's dirt everywhere. In the same, the same way on the outside, you appear to people. It's righteous. Mm -hmm. But on the inside, mm -hmm. you're full of hypocrisy, mm -hmm. wickedness. Mm -hmm. You stink. Mm -hmm. Give mm -hmm. another woe. Mm -hmm. Woe to you, teacher of the law yes. and Pharisee, you hypocrites. Yes. You build tombs for prophets mm -hmm. and decorate their graves of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And you say, mm -hmm. you say, I didn't say I say. You I said say. you say. You say. If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, uh -huh. we would not have taken part with them and treading the blood of the prophet. Uh -huh. That's a lie. Yep. Whoa. Give you a minute. Uh -huh. So right. But if you're shredding the blood of the prophets and preachers today, uh -huh. how, Pastor, you kill them with your tongue. You scandalize 
They're innocent men. Uh -huh. Talking about they all just alike. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not like yours. Right, right. And you're not like mine. Right. I'm not like you. Uh -huh. and you're not like me. Right. But you kill them in the community mm -hmm. with your mouth. Uh -huh. You kill them when you don't acknowledge the living God that they tell you about in the Word. By doing this, so you testify against yourself that you are the descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Mm -hmm. You murdered the preacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead, mm -hmm. then complete what your ancestors started. Yes. But watch this. Uh -huh. You snake. Uh -huh. You generation of pipers. Mm. How will you escape being condemned to hell? Yes. Only by confessing. That Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus who died for us all. Yes. The three nails on the cross. Yes, sir. He, he hung him high yes, and he stretched him wide. Yes, Had the nerve to pierce him in his side. Yes. But he hung down, bled, and he died. Yes. He allowed us to have the grave of Joseph Brandy Bar with Tim Bar because he wasn't going to eat it long. Yes. He laid it all Friday and all Friday night. Yes. All day Saturday and all Saturday night. But early, early. Sunday one rode on Father. Yes. And I thank God he rose. Yes. And I thank God for Jesus. Yes. I thank God for Jesus. Yes. Yes. Snakes yes. and vipers. Yes. The door of the church open. For that we want today. Ready to give off your belly. Start so walking on your own two feet. I'm tired of folk crawl up to me on their belly. Stand up. Stand up. On your own two feet. Tell God I'm sorry. Whatever you want today. That is willing to come and accept Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, and say. Whatever you want. Please don't wait. Time is not on your side. And the church say, God is spoken. And the church say,